When building Laravel applications, you need an easy way to run your code in a local development environment. Thankfully, Laravel Sale provides an easy way using Docker to do just this, giving you the ability to make on-the-fly changes to your code and instantly see it without it affecting anybody else. To achieve this, head over to docker.com and make sure you select the right operating system and click the download button. Once that's downloaded, open it up and run through the installation process. When it's finished, you'll see the Docker dashboard with three essential components which make up Docker. Containers, which are the temporary virtual machines. The images, which are a little bit like CDs, which hold the operating system you're gonna run as your container. And the volumes, which is where you'll hold any persistent data mounted inside of your container. Next, open up your terminal and put this command in. This will create your Laravel project, which we'll call it Laravel Sale. Let that whiz through, and once it's done, navigate inside of your directory. Run this command to add Laravel sale to your project. Then run artisan sale install, which will configure your project for Docker. Select your database. I'll be using zero, which is MySQL, and then that will just build your Docker environment. This might take a few minutes. Now that's done, run vendor bin sale up. This is very similar to your Docker Compose up, but with a Laravel twist on top of it. In Docker Desktop, you'll see two containers running, your web server and your MySQL database. And you can see in your web server, port 80 is exposed. In the images section, you'll see you're using a MySQL image and the sale image you built when you ran sale up, with one volume giving you persistent data in your MySQL database. So all we need to do now is head over to localhost in your web browser and as port 80 is the default for HTTP, it'll automatically use it and you'll see your Laravel application running. If you liked this, please leave me a like, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, Ross.